Hello everybody and welcome back to Coral Island where uh, let's have a look at the animal channel it's better not be about yes yeah, about the bird of paradise again I swear I've seen everything I've seen everything Jeff what have you got to say winter is coming I used to take a break during winter not many crops can survive the snow anyway now, I'm not saying there are none. There are winter seeds, but they're rare. So we travelled and took the kids to see their grandparents. It wasn't easy travelling with two sons and the dogs, I tell you. You need a whole season. But if you want to farm during winter, my advice is to build yourself a nice greenhouse. You can plant pretty much anything in one. I heard you can even fit trees in one of the big fancy ones. Now, there's a shocker. That is something I want to do. But uh, not yet. Right, so let's head out. And make some more money, I guess. It is a rainy day today. Now then, I have notes on things that can be caught at certain times of... Uh, I've been looking through the catch altar and what we can do to get stuff. So, let's read the mail anyway. How's the farm, sweetheart? We saw some articles about Coral Island's Cherry Blossom Festival. The event looked beautiful. I think I might have spotted you in one of the photos. P.S. Ashley is pregnant. It's Ashley... Dog. I'm trying to remember. I think it might be. Now we have a big old catch to uh, harvest to do today, so uh, I might put some stuff away. Uh, I'm actually going to put the decoys in the monster loot chest. I don't think. I think I'm going to want. Them. Actually, you know, how much did they sell for? If they sell for a lot, I might make more. Oh, 50. Rubbish. Sell for a rubbish amount. Vitamin drink. That is not the right chest. That's the donation chest. But there are a few things that need to go in there, but not that. Now, monster loot. We want to put in wind essence. The decoys. Then in building mats, I want to put away the silver, gold, and coal. And stone. And then in food... I want to put that vitamin drink and then in farming I'll stick with ginger. Okay, good stuff. Right, now the next thing I want to do is to work out what exactly I want to... Nothing in here I don't think can be made into anything. So let's get the... Oh, all the eggs are different styles today. That's okay. Um, we're going to need to just make sure we go and pet and milk the animals, but not let them out today because it's raining. Rain is not good for animals. They do not like to be out in it. They like to be cozy in their little snug little nests. So, thank you very much, Cloud. Right, Cloud has no hay. Good to know. <laughs> I need to build a silo so that when I'm in there and I see they have no hay, I can like sort it out properly. I believe that Sinistra has hate already. That's fine. Yeah, she does. Silver star milk already. You are so much better than Cloud. Don't tell Cloud that, though. <laughs> okay. Cloud did give me a big egg, though. So I suppose that's, that's, that's good, too. Um, right, let's get some hay for Cloud. Uh, probably the easiest way to do that is just so they get rid of all the grass out here. Because, quite frankly, it's going to start to die soon anyway. So there we are. I've got a little bit of hay there so I can feed my chuck. I've got plenty of hay to last through the winter, though. Let's have a look at my inventory. 14 hay there. Right, okay. There you go, chicken. <laughs> right, so I've got uh, things to pick up from all of the... I'm doing better with all the mason jars and everything now. Uh, I'm getting a good 12 things a day from them, which is nice. And the mayonnaise makes 15, so it's all good. Then put all of that into the... I don't know how much pickled beets go for. That's an interesting one. 
95 each for those and 150 each for those. That's all right, isn't it? Okay. So I think I'm going to put the large eggs into the mayonnaise maker today then. Along with the sil the the normal milk, the silver milk can go back in. And then also, let me think, let's put in some cranberries of the silver persuasion. Maybe we'll just do lots of cranberries today. That might be nice. I don't care what I put in, eventually I'll get through most of it. I just care that something gets put in. It is a Monday, so we can pick up our axe today. And then I'm going to try and chop a few trees and see if I can get some hardwood out of it. Oh no, I used all the mason jars up for things that were not butter. I was going to make some butter out of the milk. Oh well. That will have to be later on today or tomorrow, I guess. Uh, let's harvest all this. Ready? Yes, it is. More sweet potatoes. Let's get those into the produce chest. Z for a quick transfer. Might go in this one. Z for a quick transfer. I don't know why there's one. Oh, I probably. I'll tell you what probably happened there is I probably. used up all the eggplants already so I need to just collect three more before I sort of sort them all out. I've got 27 silver hot peppers and 24 so we'll be we'll be making money off those for a while to come the hot peppers. They, Like I said they were the gift that kept giving indeed I thought they would be Right let's head over and pick up our axe now the question is do i tr no actually i'm not going to go past bronze unless that means i don't get any hardwood yet if i if i test it out and there's no hardwood to be had then we'll try and maybe uh prioritize that but at the moment i've got other things i want to prioritize i want to buy new animals for the barn go Raphael. Woo. Retrieve my bronze axe. Wonderful. It's apparently already enchanted. So I think I could enchant a lot of these up to two. I'm not sure though. Let me have a look. So if I want to upgrade... I only have the hoe left to upgrade up to um, bronze. If I want to upgrade the axe to silver... I'll need five silver bars, 20 wood, and 3,000 coins. So I've got everything I need back at home to do that if I want to. But I think first I'm going to see what I can chop with this axe. And then I'll I'll go back and uh, upgrade it to silver if need be. I think the axe is useful to be upgraded to silver. So some compost in the bin. I try to rummage bins where I can. Uh, I've been told that that's useful. So if I'm walking past one, I'll rummage it. I'm not going to go around town rummaging bins just in case. That's not going to happen. Um, right. Were there any fish that could only be caught on a rainy day in fall? Yes. Yellowfin tuna can only be caught in the afternoon or evening on the dock or beach in the rain in the fall. Are you starting to see why I have to look these things up? Like, seriously. There's one, right? There's one that can only be caught between fall one and seven, can be caught in the morning or the night in the ocean forest. You have to be at the exact right place in the exact right week of the year, not even the right season, the right week to catch this thing. And it's a difficult catch as well. So... I'm going to need to, um, it means that I won't be able to finish the, the altar before the 7th of fall of next year, firstly. 
Um, and secondly, it means I think some of these catches are going to need... They're also, some of them are super rare as well. So they're going to need like better fishing rods than I have as well and better fishing skill. So we'll, we'll, we'll get to that, I guess. But I, I don't think I can rely on the catch altar at all. Sorry, that was bugging me. Right, so let's see. Can I chop you now? Yes, I can. Will you give me hardwood? Or not? You will give me normal wood. Okay, so I want to go and look for larger stumps. See if they give me hardwood. They give me normal wood. Okay. Also good to know. What about this log here? I can't break that with my current tool. So I'm thinking that what I might find is that those logs are my only source of hardwood and that I need the silver uh, axe to get them, which means that my gold tools are kind of locked behind a silver axe. That is fine. So I shall go and grab some silver. And I will start my axe upgrade. I think... There might have been other things that I wanted to do after... Oh, right, I haven't actually made the silver. Okay, so let me grab some silver. In fact, that's in the wrong place. It needs to be in... No, it needs to be in farming. And then I need some coal as well. And then let's go and make some silver bars. Once they're done, I can upgrade my axe to silver. It's going to take a couple of days, though. So I guess uh, that's not something that we're going to be able to, like, do anytime soon, upgrade those tools. So my thoughts are, then, that if we're only upgrading to silver, which is 3,000, I could probably go and get myself another kind of animal. Maybe now is the time to go get a duck. Ooh. Wasn't aware a maca... A Macapuno coconut. There's different kinds of coconuts that come out in the fall. Did not know. Right then, so let's um, let's see about an animal then. Let's see about a duck. Or a sheep. Or we could maybe get away with both, actually. I think we're going to call the duck Daniel. I'm going to put it in the coop. Because I think Daniel the duck is hilarious. Dan the duck. Are you going to be Dan or Daniel? I think it'll be Daniel. Daniel the duck. Lovely. We could get a sheep. Do I want to spend the money on a sheep? Kind of do. And the sheep is going to be AJ. Thank you both, Daniel and AJ, for your continued support on Patreon. Right, so. Oh, you know what I need if, I'm, if I've got a... If I've got a sheep, I'm going to need shears, aren't I? So I might have to save up a little bit for upgrading my axe, but I, uh, I think the animals are more important right now. Because they're both going to be things for the for the altar. Um, I didn't see any kind of goats or anything like that, so I'm imagining that I need to level up the island before I can get goats. The other thing I haven't done yet either is to get a pet. It's still on the list. It's just that the list is getting very long. Right, so what did we say? The, the, the yellow fish... The yellowfin tuna is by the dock or the beach. Okay, let's see. So we'll fish off the dock. I figure that's the diving pier then. If I 
sticker, it's like this area. In the rain, in the afternoon or evening, it is afternoon or evening. But in theory, there's a chance I'll catch it now. This is a tough, a tough cookie at the moment. No! Oh! That one just kept, like, sliding backwards and everything. It, oh, okay. We'll try again. Some of them are just really, really hard catches. isn't as difficult. It is a sardine. Now actually, ocean beach, fall, night. Okay. It's another offering one, so I'm happy. I am guessing that the yellowfin tuna might have been the one that was really hard to catch. It'll be nice if I can get a couple off my list. It's a lot of the sea ones that seem to be. Oh, come on, don't just give me flyers. Sometimes you can get coffers apparently as well. I think yellowfish, yellowfin tuna might be a larger fish, so I think I might want to be better off going for a long cast. I think that's how it works. Come on, you don't be a pain. A red ruby dragonette. Well, that's kind of cool. A ruby red dragonette even. That can go in the museum. I'll probably catch a lot of different fish while I'm trying to find these particular ones. That looks like a chonker. Losing ground on this one. Go try and lose as little ground as you can while it's thrashing. And hope that you can make it up when it doesn't thrash. Come on, you. Ah, uh, lobster. Nice. Okay. Lobsters are good, I guess. I'd like to upgrade my fishing rod so I lose less fish as well. The 
blue tang. This is where it's meant to be. It, uh, it, I don't know whether I'll be able to find it in the winter as well. Oh, rats. Too busy looking at stuff. It's getting late now as well. This might be the last one I can try and catch. Uh, I've got one more fight in me and then we've got to go. This might be a blue tang again, honestly. Another ruby red dragonette. Okay, so... Sadly, we didn't catch what we wanted to catch, but we did get something else. So we got a sardine. So I can cross that off my off my big old list here of fish and stuff. Yay! So it looks like I can uh, I can also go into the wind mine and try and catch a pink snapper as well. And if we get another rainy day, I'll try and um, see if I can catch that yellowfin tuna again. I didn't write down whether it was available in other seasons, but we'll try and catch it in autumn and if we if we can't, we can't, obviously. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, it's really late. What am I doing? Go to bed, she'll have go to bed. Quick, quick, quick. Okay, I went to all that effort to upgrade my house and I'm not even really doing much cooking with all the stuff I've got. Made one and a half grand just off various pickles, I think. Like, I get a grand a day in pickles. Okay, so we're, we're nearly up to three grand again. So I'll be able to, probably tomorrow, we'll go and upgrade the axe to the next level. Stop by Socket and Pan and take a look at our kitchen appliances. Each one can help you cook different dishes. Hone your cooking skills and expand your culinary horizons. I should see if I can cook anything. Like, maybe I can. Maybe I can sell it and it would be, like, really cool. Manual cooking. Oh, that sounds like an absolute nightmare. I don't have any butter. To be locked or insufficient ingredients. Um, are my eggs not in a chest that's accessible, or do things have to be in the fridge? Because I definitely do have eggs. Let me just check. Yeah, it's included in the global inventory. Interesting. Okay, so uh, I've got loads of stuff for the museum. Three different fish that we've never had for the, the museum before, which is amazing. So I've got a blue tang, a lobster, and a ruby rad dragonette. We've got two of them, so I can sell one of those as well. Or we can make them into sashimi. Maybe I should sell them and find out how much they sell for first. And then make them into sashimi? I'm not sure. Uh, my sardine needs to go straight to... Straight to the goddess. Straight to that catch altar. And then we're going to let the... We're going to go meet the duck and the sheep. Because we haven't met them yet. Uh, it's not an ocean loop thing. It is a... Fish thing? Hmm? No, I only caught a sardine. Oh, the sardine has to be silver. Oh, right then. Well, I'll donate that one to the museum, I guess. Didn't remember that bit. Uh, and I've crossed it off already as well. Silver. 
on the line. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I remember that I'm, I'm not caught that already. Oh, I'm so irritated because it's a, it's a thing, it's a bronze one as well. Yeah, the other thing that I haven't done, uh, but I'll go and sort out my animals and things first and like any of my artisan goods and put them on and all that sort of thing. But then I want to go and see exactly what it's going to take to upgrade the fishing rods and the bug net because I feel like it, it, I feel like I'm being held back by this. Okay, so they can all come out today. Hi. Hello, little duck. Hello. Hello, Sinistra. Hello, AJ. Looking, looking very cute. All right, so we're gonna pet them all. I'm gonna milk Sinistra. I don't think I can shear AJ yet. No, it doesn't look like it. So we can pet Daniel and we can pet Cloud. Lovely. So the next thing I want to do is go and see if there's any eggs. No duck eggs yet. So no, you don't get them on the first day. You, I've just bought them. So that would be a bit much to expect, right? Loads of cranberry stuff to harvest. I feel like I should go under the sea because I haven't had any like dehydrated stuff in ages. So yeah, let me add the... I can't believe the blue tan came out gold. And the sardine came out bronze. Sucks. But I could, I can still go and get it in the night time uh, any day, so I could, I can try. Um, but I want to put that in the donations chest so that I can donate. Yeah, it didn't say offering on it either, did it? Oh, you know what I haven't offered though, and I should have done is my sexy shrimp. So get him in. They're worth so little money. I was so disappointed. I was like, oh, I'm, I'm on a really low, low down level now. Everything's going to be like super high value here. No. Uh, this is an ocean catch, isn't it? Got four out of five of the ocean catches, but just the fish. Some of those rare fish are insane. Um, I can get, I think at night as well, I can get a rove beetle up by the garden path which is i will show you uh up by here i think it's like the garden path it's by millie's house apparently zoe emma what's millie's house in? millie's house zoe ann and paul house emma and dipper house Lily, Maya, Ling, Pufferfish. Lily's house then. Side, Carpenters, the Recycling Centre, Hot Springs, School. I know I've seen their house somewhere. A home. Oh, Millie and Yuri's house. Oh, right, so this is the garden path. Okay, this here. I have found some stuff down there before. It's been quite useful, actually. I found a few things down there. Uh, so Sunny's Beach Shack is closed today. I was going to go down there and check on how to upgrade my fishing rod, but I guess we'll do that another day. Yay. Exciting. So I'm glad that I checked that. So the garden path, we might find things like centipedes, or possibly rove beetles down there. Um, garden lane, I think it might be called. And we'll find that at night. But yeah, let's not worry about that too much. Let's uh, head back, put stuff away. I'll sell that flyer, I think. I'm guessing I can sell it. 
Seems as I got like three of them. Sells for one each, but that's not the end of the world. I don't know how much a large egg spell sells for. Macapuno coconut. Let's just sell that, I think. I wonder if I can make desiccated coconut on the uh, on the drying rack. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? You make me some mayonnaise. I think I want to make some gold. Um, let's add to the milk and I'll put the milk into one of the mason jars so we can get some butter going. And there are some things I can make with butter. So once I've got some butter, maybe I can make some stuff. I don't know. Me, um, let me bring an egg in and see if I can make a sunny side up if the egg is in my inventory. Or if the egg has to be in the fridge, I'll have to check. So sunny side up, any egg. Recipe locked in sufficient ingredients. So let's put the egg in the fridge. And try again. Oh, it needs to be on a skillet. Is that what it is? Yes, I don't have the right uh, cooking utensils for it. That's what it is. So we need to like save those up then, don't we? We need to go to socket and pan and save up the various cooking utensils. Um, I now have one of each animal that I'm available to get except for a horse. So that's good. I'm saving up a bit of money for upgrades and things. So that's good. So I honestly feel like if I can't do anything else too much, then maybe it'd be good to go on a diving expedition today. Haven't done diving in a little while. So I feel like that might be nice. Let's go diving. We'll go to the diving pier and then we'll go to wherever we wherever we left off last time. And just do a little bit more. And then when I have a day where I've not done sort of whatever I was doing to stop myself having stamina. <laughs> I don't know what it was. Fishing maybe? Maybe going to bed too late? I'm not sure. But whatever it was, we'll not do that tomorrow. And we'll uh, maybe head down to the mines and see if I could get down to like level 10 or are we on level 10 and need to get down to 15 i'm not sure i think it i think it's getting down to level 10. you look like you want to be caught you're an atoller jellyfish when threatened it flashes blue light that attracts predators to chase off its attacker also known as the alarm jelly well you had better be worth some money i tell you that because i went to a lot of effort to catch you I came all the way into the sea. I put my diving suit on. Everything. Look, I found another solar orb. Perfect. And it looks like the root can retreat further. Go on, off you go. Your little scallywag root. gold kelp is alright. Let's see where this is getting stuck because it no doubt is somewhere. So I want to quickly see uh, once I've finished trying to clear its path uh, if we have done all of the altars down here or whether we've got more to do. I ran away, but there's still a red thing over here. Okay, I think we've cleared its path. Wonderful. Its path is huge. That one's open already, but that one is still shut. So we've got one more to find. Yeah, this is definitely something that you want to do a little bit at a time. Uh, 
And I would definitely say just like you don't need to clear everything. It's really nice if you can. Honestly, if I was probably if I was playing on my own and didn't care about time too much and didn't care about making it entertaining too much, I might be tempted just to be very OCD about it and sort of just very sort of very sort of fastidious about cleaning absolutely everything. But I try to be a little bit less boring. <laughs> like, oh, that one, that was an absolute fail. I haven't failed at a catch like that in ages. That was really bad. I apologize. Yay! Final solar orb. So what I should do is follow that around and make sure that it does its thing. It doesn't get blocked. Let's see. Let's see where, where it's going to go. Will it go where I've already cleared? <laughs> Straight for the nearest. Straight for the nearest thing that's going to block it, of course. But I was only coming in here to like use up the last of my stamina so I'm not gonna like get into this um, sort of roundabout thing where I'm using up all my jammu I'll come in here I'll put the anchor down in here I've still got a bit of stamina left Right, I think that might be the last bit I can do. So I think I'm going to have to call it there. Unless I have something in my inventory that's... Actually, some of these scavenger balls could be eaten. A little bit of extra time. I do sell a lot of scavenger balls normally. I don't tend to use them. So I think the odd time if eating one is fine. I'm gonna go there, around there, up here, and I hope it's gonna end here. Yes, nice. And this whole thing is gonna hopefully go nice now. Go on, you can do it. But yeah, it's taking everything I have not to like clean every area thoroughly. I hope it doesn't annoy anybody, but I, it, if I want to make progress in this, I have to try and, especially with my tools not being really up to par, um, I have to be a little bit careful. There's a cave up there. I wonder what I can do in a cave. Nothing, because I'm not allowed up there. Rawr! <laughs> I do need to go back to the other caves, but they're so far back. <laughs> they're just so far. Got a little while still. So, yeah, we need to go up this way. Then I might be able to go across and still find the cave. We'll see. Get the route to retreat a bit more. How many have I done now in here? I'm on six. Out of what I think is going to be 20. So the, the 20 meters, the 10 meters. The Merfolk Kingdom is at around a 30 meter mark. Then the deep sea, 40 meters. I've done six out of what I think is going to be 20, but it could be more. So yeah, can't go around that way. I miss my seahorse. He might have sold for like loads of money. I don't actually know. 
So I'll stick the anchor down here. Because this is the next place I need to get these two done. And then hopefully I can move that one. Or I may need to carry on up here. I, uh, I'm not sure. So I can see another... One, two... Three, four, another five. We've done six. I can see another five. So there's probably more around before we get into this area, which I think will probably be the um, osmium layer. And I think it's also where I'm going to find my final um, altar piece as well. All right, let's get out of here. I didn't get a lot of scavenger balls this time, but and I had to eat one as well, which is a bit sad, but never mind. But I think there's a difference between doing like a scavenger balls hunt, which I would probably do from the quick travel points. Uh, there's a difference between that and uh, doing a, a, like a progress run. I guess that's what I would call it. My third large mayonnaise. So if I put in like three large mayonnaises in a day, then that's 450 already. Uh, the scallops need to be put through the dehydrator, as does the mussel there. I don't know about that atoll or jellyfish. I think that might be another donation. I uh, can only see that in this view. Yeah, that hasn't been donated either. So I'm wondering if I should take my critters out of the donation box and just donate them. Probably the, th the thing to do first would be to put things into my dehydrator. So I've actually got room. And then I'll put away that coffer. Alright, so what have we got to, to take to the... We got this, and 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 this. And I don't have no room. And, uh. Okay. Just got rid of all my building materials. Okay. And this, and this, and this. Those to go to the goddess, which we haven't done yet. Loads of coffers to open. And those are all there just so that um, I can upgrade things with the giants. But yeah, let's uh, head over to the museum. Oh, and now it's night time. I could head over to the... Like, down the lookout and go up... No, or the diving pier, just go up the garden path. In fact, the it goes down from the museum, and I can see if I can find like any centipedes or rove beetles down there. I think it's Garden Lane. I keep calling it a garden path because it's like a, a, it's an expression, isn't it? All right, then. So donate one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so let's have a little look and see like how we're doing with like our collections. So our insect collection, we've actually got 31 out of 53. We don't have any fossils yet, but we've got some that I can sort of do. Um, critters. Oh, that's the undersea critters, I think. We've got 21 out of 45. Earth gem, f fire gem, wind gem, water gem. How have I been, like, getting those? I have no idea. My gem collection and my artifacts and my vintage artifacts. We've actually done a really good job so far. We're, we're getting a good percentage through. Getting things done for this museum. I like it. <laughs> it must be because it's fall. It must be like nearly Halloween. 
That'll probably be the last day of the month, actually, won't it? Let's go to Sam's, actually, because it looks like they're gearing up for something, doesn't it? And Sam's will have the calendar. Because I'm not paying 400 for a calendar. <laughs> 28th. And that was the only... No, we had the Harvest Festival on the 15th. And then we got the Spooky Festival on the 28th. There's no tasks. Okay. It's nearly 10 o'clock now, so I don't have long to go bug hunting. But I'll try. So the rove beetle is either down here or in the vineyard, apparently. That's the one I'm kind of trying to look for. Get my bug net out and just see what we find. If anything. Anything wiggling around here? Darn it. Nothing is wiggling around here, sadly. Something is wiggling over there, though. Your cricket. Yeah, grasshopper. So the only other thing I could do is to go check out the vineyard and see if there's anything up there. But I'm going to probably go over time then. So it's like, is it worth it to go and check? I don't know. So around this area, there might be something. Over there. What to you? What be you? Round beetle. Well, that sucks. I wanted a rove beetle. You're the wrong beetle. Oops. So now I've got to fatigue my way home. Oh no. This is terrible. <laughs> I'm not eating those fish tacos though. I need to go to bed right now. Why am I like this? You know why I'm like this? I go catching things when I'm really tired already. And I'm trying to manage my stamina, trying not to eat everything because I need money. Hey, wait, 1,174. Ooh. Sure what I'm gonna spend that on, to be honest. Might be time. No, I've seen that one. To start looking in socket and pan and trying to get together some of the stuff in there. Was there anything else I said I wanted other than upgrading the axe, maybe? Don't know. Sweet potato, cranberries, absolute crops going on today. Wow. I can probably pick those up now. Lovely. Is that really the only thing that's stacked? Yay, we've finally got some gold flowers though. The fairy roses. Oh, yes. I picked those up as a special thing, didn't I? Fairy Rose. I remember that. Pumpkins. I, ooh, I got a nice pumpkin. Look at me with my... Uh, I've forgotten the name of it. But, you know, the top level. So the ground beetle I have not caught before. So that has not been donated to the museum. That's quite cool. 
these guys. No, that's food. Food chest. The ground beetle will go in the donation chest, ready for when I want to donate something. That's the monster loot chest. That's the donation chest. I've also got like a lot of coffers. And I also have the money to deal with them as well if I want to. So how about we do that? I'll put the butter away. I want the butter just for in case I want it for cooking. Uh, sea loot. Alright then. Well, you know what? Maybe we could take fossils. I want to open something today, I think. Let's do coffers today. And we could do fossils tomorrow or something. And then every so often I'll take animals over that uh, I haven't put in before. So, woodlands we go. Are we too early? We're like way too early. That's ridiculous. Let me go and deal with my animals first. Some nice bits to sell. I don't know how much they sell for. Some of them are like 70, 80. Some of them I just don't know. Another stick of butter there. Right. Uh, let's go see my little my little animals and just see if we can shear any wool. Or if we have any duck eggs today. If we have a duck egg, then that's going straight up to the goddess altar as well, along with the meat. Uh, yeah, I think that's a duck egg. That is a quality duck egg as well. Very nice. Say hello to everybody and we'll get some wool. Oh yes, you're looking super woolly today. Oh, now you're looking very non-woolly today. <laughs> Oops. I just feel so sorry for- I know that it helps sheep feel better when they are shorn. That it's a better thing for them. But <laughs> at the same time, they do look a bit silly. Oh, it's the funniest thing. I saw a cat with what they call a lion cut because it had all its mats taken off it. So it just had a fluffy head and little fluffy boots on, basically. And the rest was shaved. I was like, oh, poor little thing. Poor little thing. So in the donations box, I think I have the meat. Um, So we're going to take that up along with the wool. Is there anything else I wanted to take? I'm trying to think. It was the duck egg, the wool, the meat. And if there's anything else, I'll take it up another day. I'm so upset about that sardine still. But yeah, that cat jolt is going to be a pain, I can tell. Alright, so... It's the... Advanced altar, I think. So coop animals. I've got a duck egg. So we just need the large duck egg and we finish the coop animal one, which is really cool. A barn animal one, we have some wool. So we don't yet have the ability to get goats. So we need goat milk and a large goat milk. And also eventually we'll get the large wool. But then I'm going to be looking for eventually getting a silver large pail of milk from Sinistra. Or any of Sinistra's friends. <laughs> Monster loot, we have finally got the meat, the tough meat. So we just need the bat wings. We do not have bat wings yet. So that's super cool. So basic artisan and monster loot are like almost done. I need the keg to finish that off. But we're really, really not too far away. The ocean loot, I need the king scallop and the sea urchin. And then I have one more ocean critter to find. Then we've got Brussels sprouts, kale, rose hip, snowdrop, and tea leaf to find. Um, I'm hoping that some of those, I don't know whether rose hip and snowdrop are scavengeables. They seem like that they might be the scavengeables. 
uh, kale and Brussels sprouts I reckon will be growable and I reckon tea leaf is the one possibly that you guys have been saying plant your wild seeds in winter because you won't be able to get the thing I think tea leaves might be that thing just guessing <laughs> but it seems like that might be what it is that those don't unlock until a much higher rank than I am currently capable of Right, so, what are we doing today? We've let the animals out. We haven't actually put anything in. And I really do need to keep going with this and not just let it go. Because I am bad at that. Um, so, I think I'm going to take some of these silver peppers. And I'm going to take some... Take another bronze egg. That's fine. And I will take three milks. And I'll put the milk in the mason jar for butter. Basically using that one as my butter churn. And then I'll stick all the silver hot peppers in. That hot pepper sauce is really good. It's making me so much money every day. It's great. If I could make another mason jar, that would be great too. Um, so if I could make any glass here... Turn scrap into glass and stone into glass. Turn stone into glass. Okay, I could definitely do that and make another mason jar. Unless I already have enough, which I might do. You never know until you check. Uh, I need 12 and I have 5. Okay. So what do I have most of? Stone or scrap? Probably stone. Yeah, I've got like 400 stone. And 69 scrap. Let's turn some stone into glass then so we can start making more mason jars that sounds like a good trade to me especially the amount of time i spend in the mines mayonnaise maker and then i'm trying gonna try and get a lot of compost going because i want to make a lot of fertilizer come the winter and fertilize all of those seeds that are going down so I make sure that I get a good um a good crop out of them hopefully so let's just take some trash put my butter in there um I haven't opened the coffers even I wanted to do that didn't I <laughs> let's get the trash in here I will go and open the coffers because, like, if I don't do it, I will never do it. It's one of those things. So let's go over to the woodlands. Fast travel point. Go to the blacksmith and open as many as I can. I've got money at the moment, so that's not a problem. Though I, after opening 41 coffers, I might not have any money left. I'll open the non-shimmering ones first geodes as well but like with this amount of coffers i don't think shadow puppet that looks like it might be a new one broken blade stone portrait silver kelp gold fish nice marble coffers another broken blade trash wonderful a dragon's trishula that's definitely new Shell anklet, I think that's new. More glass, which is always handy. Dragon's tears. Trash. Okay. Let's start on the shimmering coffers. Pearl chain. Gemstone candlestick. Bronze kelp. Gemstone beads. Beach snow globe, I know I've already got one of those. Gemstone hourglass. A ship's wheel, I know I already had one of those. Some more trash. Some more scrap. Oh, my inventory's full. We've got quite a lot done there, so I'm going to head to the museum and see what I can hand in. Anything that I can't will go back in the chest to be used for enchantments. More trash to stack onto the trash. I really should try and get that sardine, but I feel like if I go on a rainy day, then I can try and catch the yellowfish tuna at the same time. But maybe I should just try and catch the sardine generally. Oh, 
I'll, it's obviously it's a night thing, so I do need to do that at night. So the pearl chain we haven't had before, the broken blade we haven't had before, the stone portrait, the gold fish, the dragon trishula, the shell anklet, the dragon's tears, the gemstone beads, the gemstone hourglass. Nice. The rest can all be either sold or just put away. I may start selling some of them. Like, I've got so much. Right. Back to the farm, I think, to put things away in the chest. And then I may... I'll either put the... Yeah, I might put them away, actually, for now. One, one at a time. Okay. Is enough for me. So I'll take those another day, I think. Um, sea loot for my kelp that I found in those chests. Building mats for the scrap and... I don't know about the glass, I guess, there. And then I found some trash, unfortunately. Okay. So now uh, I've somehow again used up all of my stamina. I think I'm going to bed too late at night and I think that's what's causing that. So I can do a little bit of diving. It's also late in the day. Or a little bit of night fishing. I could maybe do diving for a few hours and then do fishing. I will probably forget. Oh, right. So... One thing, I think this is the basket they were on about, that one. So I think on the first of each season, there's a basket there that is uh, emptyable. It's very subtle, isn't it, to be fair? <laughs> Apparently sometimes there's stuff in there. So there you go, now you know. If you didn't already, which probably everyone except me did. Okay. In this lovely new area. Let's see if we can crack it open a bit. So I'm just gonna crack my way on through. Like I'm not that worried if like if it's hard or if it takes a lot of stamina. No no. Oh gee. And it didn't catch you. You little giraffe seahorse you. Twisty, turny, and wiggly, wiggly, wobbly, aren't they? <laughs> they're just like, there's no rhyme or reason as to where they're going. But at least I can get that un undone today. I can, so I feel like I'm making some progress with it. Even if it's just like every day we pop down here for just a little bit. It's all good. Okay, it's done. So we can move on from here. I'll grab that salt though. Thank you very much. And I'll grab that uh, golden kelp. Thank you very much. So that one went away, but that one stayed. Okay, well, I guess we're going up here then. I guess skanky root, get out of the way. <laughs> right, so, harvest you. You are a blue oyster. ran away from me then. This looks like a new shell that I've not seen before. That is a Kumamoto oyster. 
Well, what I'm looking for is a king scallop or a uh, a green looking sort of urchin thing. Urchin, an enemy, whatever you want to call it. You know, the, the spiky prickly looking things. So question, where's the nearest altar here then? Oh, they're to the side, okay. They're all over here, look. They're here. I'll do a couple more spin to wins and then we'll get out of here, I think. I'll move the anchor down here as well. I am super aware that I'm not being very thorough with this at all. But that seems to be the way that I'm going to move forward the fastest. But it's not going to be the way that you'll get good scavenger balls the fastest. Getting good scavenger balls is mostly um, the clearer you've got it, the better that's going to be. So I think I'm going to exit the diving at this point. Might go talk to people, might do a bit of fishing. Don't know yet. We'll see. I have to eat my scavenger balls to do the fishing. See if I can get another sardine. I, th I think sardines might be smaller. But I'll see what I find. You wait for me to pull up a tuna on a dry day. For a second I thought that one was trash. And then it started to wiggle. I was like... Clearly pretending. If it's a blue tang, I'm just going to cry. Oh no, it is a sardine. Okay. But it's a sardine. It's a silver sardine. Oh, it is. Did we do it? Did we get it? Did we? Yes! We did! I'm going straight up to the goddess and putting that in there and proudly displaying that by throwing it in an altar yeah that's that's the way so we managed to get the sardine done yay we still don't have the yellow fin tuna and i will need to go into the, i think it's the wind mine and try and see if i can find the asian sheep head uh then pink snappers i think i can then find in the spring um no, the, oh, the pink snap is what I can find. Sorry. The Asian sheep head I can then find in the winter. But the yellowfin tuna, I'm not sure Like if if it goes past the autumn, whether I'll have to wait till next year for it. I'll have a look at it when I get a minute. So it's actually nice sometimes to come up before the middle of the night because you actually get time to put on your uh, dehydrator and things like that as well. Also, now I've got... Oh, no. Actually, that's a bad idea. I was about to be like, now I've got my axe back. I can axe the... No, Shelab. Stop. <laughs> that is a bad idea. There's some bits and bobs coming out of there. Again, like I say, I'm storing the butter. But... <laughs> butter i'm gonna sell one just so i know how. 135 each okay wow yeah great bronze mayonnaise i'm gonna sell that i'm gonna sell my well i think i can sell my giraffe dude yeah he's already donated so he can get sold yep 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 there we go and the karacha got quite a few bits and bobs that have been sold today there'll probably be a few hundreds worth there and I think I may now have enough glass to make a new mason jar as well. So let's craft that up. More mason jars I have. The better things are going to be. However, I can't put it down where I want to put it down. Because I can't... I probably could get rid of that log. And not completely die. That 
that mason jar. Lovely. So in the morning when I'm putting things on to to be done. Or oh, even maybe now. Even actually maybe now I could. I could get a, a few bronze peppers or something and just pop them in there. The peppers are basically putting me through college right now. <laughs> Can I add to that? Oh yeah, I can add to it. Nice. Very nice. Uh, there's mayonnaise on the mayonnaise maker, so I can take that off. That can all get sold too. If I make enough money, then I can either upgrade my axe to silver, which I have all the stuff to do. It might be really useful because then I can start to get possibly hardwood from some of these logs. I don't know yet. Um, but also I can start getting some of the cooking things and actually start cooking. Because at the moment I'm kind of stuck. I'm bottlenecked behind a bit by behind money at the moment. A little bit. Anything else I can go in there? No building materials. Yes. Do I really only have that much stone? No. <laughs> like surely I put my stone in the wrong place. There's no way I have four stone left. Imagine. Okay, and then compost to go into the farming box. I'm getting a good amount of compost, so we'll be able to make hopefully a good amount of fertilizer. Uh, let me see though. So I'm ideally wanting fertilizer too, if I can. I don't know what goes into that though. Uh, just compost, sap and silver. Ca oh yeah, well loads of that. But come winter, everything's going to be fertilized. I'll just manually do most of it though. to make about 30. So 8, 16, 24, 32. 32 would be great. 31 is what we're going to get though. <laughs> um, hopefully I'll be able to make another one by the time it's time to fertilize everything. And then um, I've got, how many wild seeds do I have? In fact, that should be in the produce or farming or something like that. I've got 34 wild seeds and 31 fertilizer. So I should have to fertilize most of the wild seeds and see if any of them come up tea, <laughs> basically. Right, so, uh, gonna be able to move these sprinklers as well. Oh, look, I've got some, is this barley? Very nice. Put that away. I don't know what I'm gonna do with barley, to be honest. Uh, it's cool, I've got it, in case I need it for something. Um, I think there's there should be some kind of milling going on. I'm not sure whether that's going to be a mason jar thing again or what, but it's also getting quite late, isn't it? Should probably end the episode too. But we're getting there. Um, I'm going to try and get some, some more things upgraded and just generally try and make things good. <laughs> I don't really know, like, I don't really know what my next plan is. I definitely want to upgrade my axe and my fishing rod and my bug net if I can. So that's going to be happening. And my kitchen's going to be upgraded. Keg and sprinkler too. So I'm thinking sprinkler too. I might make those come next spring. And hopefully then I can make some massive farm plots. That might be really, really pretty nice. Um... Depending on what it takes to make them. Might not be... There might be some things. What I might do is have a section with sprinkler twos. Which would be for things I want to make in bulk. And then have like... And keep my sprinkler ones for things that I want to just like... Sprinkle in small amounts. Um, apparently it's quite useful to sprinkle trees. Using the sprinkler twos. Because they fit around it nicely. But yeah. Anyway. That's very cool. 
farming level six and I've got the keg, so I think I can make juice now, which will be good. We made 1,800 somehow because I had all of that stuff from under the ocean along with all of that stuff. What? I did not mean to sell 18 bronze hot peppers. Those were meant to be turned into Karacha sauce. That's annoying, but oh well. I can live with it. Okay, so that's the end of that episode. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe and I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.